another stoichiometry example. This time we're going to go from grams to grams. This, I would say, is your most common type of stoichiometry problem. Let's look at our problem. So you're given 220.6 grams of iron three oxide, and we want to know how many grams of iron will be produced. Again, what first strikes me is we're given information about one compound. We want the answer for a different compound. That means I'm stuck doing stoichiometry. We're going to walk that bridge, use the molar ratio. So where do you begin? It's always with what you're given. Remember step one, balance the equation. Step two, write down what you have, what you want. Step three, write down what you're given to begin the equation. We've got 220.6 grams of the iron three oxide. Okay, I eventually want to get to this iron. And I know the way I go from one compound to another one is the molar ratio. That means this has to be in moles. So I bring it to moles using molar mass. We are going to have grams of the iron three oxide and moles of the iron three oxide. Notice I put the grams in the denominator so it will cancel. If you add up two irons, 55.85, and three oxygen, 16, that is 159.7 grams for every one mole. Notice grams of the iron three oxide cancels. I now have moles of the iron three oxide. I want to go from iron three oxide to the moles of the iron. So let's cancel out moles of iron three oxide. Notice how I'm constantly looking at units and I write the units down first, then I add the numbers. I attach the appropriate numbers. Um, so moles of iron three oxide, but I want moles of iron. There's our bridge walking from one compound to another one. Now we can attach the numbers. You just look at the coefficients. One mole iron three oxide produces two moles of iron. So iron three oxide, gone. If I stopped right here, what would I have for my unit? Moles of iron, but we want grams. They want us to give grams. So we can just use molar mass to go from moles to grams of iron. One mole of iron, I put my grams of iron, look at the periodic table, and it's 55.85. Notice moles of iron cancels. So we will be left with grams of iron. So putting this in your calculator, we're going to have 220.6 divided by 159.7 times two times 55.85. So you've got four sig figs right here. Um, there, everything else in the middle here, we're going to consider um, exact values. Use this for your sig figs. Um, and we will have 154.3 uh, grams. Okay, now you want to go back and say, what is this? What did I just find? If we use, consume, all of the 220.6 grams of iron have excess, plenty of CO. So we use all of the 220.6 grams. It will produce 154.3 grams of iron. Now I do want to label what we've done here. Since this is the, if what we, uh, I would consider the bigger stoichiometric uh, equation. Uh, let's put down everything that we've, we've written right here. We begin with the molar mass. This is going to be the molar mass of the first equation, or excuse me, of the first compound. Now I'm writing it down to make this super explicit, but don't memorize this. What you have to remember is going from one compound to another one, you use the bridge, the molar ratio. So if you're given grams, you have to bring this to moles so you can use that molar ratio to walk from one compound to another compound. If you know that principle, the units will show you where to put what numbers and how to walk this process. Next, this is our molar ratio. This is the heart of stoichiometry. This allows us to go from one compound to another, and that's what I call the bridge. 
I think that is so cool that we can have information about one compound and end with information about another compound. Awesome. <laughs> this last one is the molar mass of the second compound. And remember, the reason why we had to use that is we found the moles of the second compound, but we had to use the molar mass to bring it from moles back to grams. Okay, the more you practice this, like anything, the better you'll get. Make it make sense, figure it out. If you're thinking units going from grams to moles, that bridge, mole to mole, um, make it make sense. And before you know it, this is going to be one of your favorite things too. It'll become like candy, I promise. You'll do these problems and you'll think, oh, this is kind of fun, it's gratifying. So enjoy it, enjoy stoichiometry, good job.